Hello, my name is Becky Frank and I'm making this recording for Excelsior classes. Today I want to share with you another amazing moment in American history. I want to tell you the story of the odd travels of Elmer McCurdy. So to start this story we have to go to 1976. Um, the TV show The Six Million Dollar Man was preparing to film an episode called The Carnival of Spies and this part of this episode would be set in Long Beach, California in a fun house called Laugh in the Dark. And the crew were moving some of the dummies and mannequins around the set and the arm fell off one of the mannequins. The man who looked at it when it fell off realized that the interior of the arm was human bone. So the police were called in. The um, Los Angeles County Coroner's Office investigated, did a um, autopsy and determined that the mummified body was a mummified body and not a mannequin and based on the bullet they pulled out of his chest and the method of embalming which included arsenic laced embalming fluid led them to believe that this man had died in the early 1800s um, they also found carnival tickets in the mouth of the corpse um, and a 1924 penny and this led them to oklahoma with the help of historians there, they discovered that this was in fact the body of a would-be criminal named Elmer McCurdy. Well, I guess he was actually a criminal, he just wasn't a successful one. So let me tell you a little bit about our friend Elmer. Um, he was born in Maine in 1880, orphaned at an early age, had a really rough start in life, um, could not hold down a job, could not even stay in the army. He was enlisted in the army and was discharged after just a short period. But he did learn in the army how to be a demolition man. And he decided to take this skill and um, use it to be a bank robber and a train robber. He was in Oklahoma um, and he was not a very good bank slash train robber. He one time set his explosives too high um, in the train. He did manage to blow the safe open, but he also managed to melt the silver coins that were inside the safe. And there was melted silver coin all over the walls and ceiling and floor of the train car. So not a good start. He also one time tried to blow up a safe within a bank and ended up blowing the bank down, but the safe remained untouched. So like I said, he was not very good at this robbery thing that he had going on. He um, apparently was scheduled to rob a train that reportedly had $400,000 on it. So this was gonna be his big hit and he was gonna be able to retire um, on this $400,000 that was in this train. It turned out that when he actually robbed the train, there was only $46 um, in the train. He um, had to take off for the hills as the authorities followed him and the next morning they surrounded his hideout and he was killed in the shootout. Um, he was taken to Johnson's funeral home in the nearby city in Oklahoma. The funeral director did his job. He embalmed the body, but no one came to claim it. And so Mr. Johnson, um, his name was Joseph Johnson, decided he needed to make a buck somehow to compensate him for his work in embalming this body since no one was coming to pay the bill. He set uh, Mr. McCurdy up in his funeral parlor um, and charged people a nickel to view the body and the um, people who were to put the nickel inside the mouth of um, Mr. McCurdy, they called him the um, outlaw that wouldn't give up. Um, the, apparently the Johnson children took great joy in putting roller skates on Mr. McCurdy and rolling him around town, um, scaring the younger children as well. Finally, in um, 1916, been a few years, a couple of men show up to the funeral home and tell the funeral director, Mr. Johnson, that they are the long lost brothers of Mr. McCurdy and that they want possession of their brother so that they can send him back home and he can receive a proper burial. Uh, Mr. Johnson releases the body to the brothers, brothers and um, two weeks later he is found in a carnival sideshow um, in West Texas. Mr. McCurdy will make the carnival slash side show round around the country um, next to bearded ladies and two-headed crocodiles um, until 1922. In 1922, the carnival owner who owned him at the time used him as collateral for a loan, which he 
did not make good on. And so Mr. McCurdy became the property of Lewis Sonny, who had this traveling museum exhibit called the Museum of Crime that traveled around the country. And this, again, he's going to prop him up and call him the outlaw that wouldn't give up um, or the outlaw bandit. And he is going to travel all around the West Coast um, where people will come and look at his body and be amazed or appalled depending on um, what they're feeling at the time. In 1949, Mr. Sonny died. Um, the body of Elmer McCurdy is placed in storage. It will soon be purchased in bulk with a bunch of other props, um, wax museum pieces and mannequins by a wax museum in 1949 who will then take it to the Fun House um, at the New Point Amusement Park in Long Beach, California. Now at this point, the wax museum slash fun house era, everyone believed this was a mannequin or a wax dummy. No one had any idea that this was an act the actual remains of a human. Uh, they covered him with glow in the dark paint and hung him from a gallows inside the fun house and um, used him to scare people. Um, this is where his body was when it was found by the crew, the $6 million man. Um, this is the laugh in the dark fun house. This is the a picture of the coroner taking the body away. Um, again, they found out who he was and where he belonged. And so the people of Guthrie, Oklahoma, decided that he deserved a, a, a proper burial um, in their city. Um, the famous Boot Hill Cemetery is in Guthrie, Oklahoma, where several um, infamous outlaws are buried. And so Elmer Curdy, who never quite made outlaw status in real life, is going to finally get it in death. Um, he was buried with a grand funeral um, in Oklahoma. This is a picture of the funeral and then of his gravesite. So shot by Sheriff's Posse in Osage Hills, October 7th, 1911. Returned to Guthrie, Oklahoma from Los Angeles County, California. Buried April 22nd, 1977. Um, after they put his casket in the ground, they poured six feet of concrete over it so that no one would be able to uh, retrieve the body and use it um, for any purposes after he had finally gotten his piece. So in death, Elmer McCurdy um, reached the status that he never quite achieved in life. He was considered an outlaw and a bandit and um, received great fame for that, was buried at Boot Hill, even though he never quite got that um, job done uh, while he was in life. I mean, I think he probably would have appreciated or at least um, liked being buried with the others in Boot Hill. Um, if you want to hear more about some amazing moments in American history, you can check out my classes um, at excelsiorclasses.com. I hope you enjoyed this story.